The roofing system is the first line of defense against the greatest source of unwanted moisture, rain. Whether pitched or low slope, all the components, roof sheathing, underlayment, roofing material, roof intersections, flashing details, and ventilation must be correctly installed for the system to work as designed. Before the first panel goes down, it is a good idea to review the span rating. These numbers are part of the trademark and denote the maximum center-to-center -center spacing in inches of the supports over which the panels are placed. In roofing applications, the left-hand number denotes the maximum support spacing rating applied when the long panel dimension, or strength axis, is across three or more supports. The right number indicates the maximum spacing of floor joists. The panel rating should match your frame spacing. APA also recommends the use of panel clips to ensure a uniform gap and secure edge support. Panels are typically gapped 1 8 inch apart along the edges and end joints to allow for expansion. Nailing schedules vary depending on the wind loads and local code requirements. APA recommends a minimum 8 penny common or deformed ring shank nail on panels up to 1 inch thick. These nails are spaced every 6 inches along supported edges and every 12 inches on intermediate support. Roofing underlayment, often made of building paper or felt, is the first weatherproofing layer for a pitched roof. Underlayment should be installed from the bottom of the pitched roof to the top, such that each upper layer overlaps the lower layer. Note that the underlayment is always installed in such a way as to channel the water out and down, away from the wood structural panel sheathing below. In a pitched roof, Regardless of the application or the type flashing used, the purpose of the flashing is to direct the flow of the water that leaks into the intersection down and away from the interior of the structure to the top side of the roofing material. In every case, the top edge of the flashing passes underneath the underlayment. The upper pieces of flashing pass over the lower pieces, and the lower edge of the flashing always passes over the top of the roofing material. This way, the flow of water is never in contact with the roof sheathing. 